To create a basic speaker preset in Armonia Plus 2.0, let's start by adding an X8 Dante amplifier to the workspace. We then select the arrow button and double-click our amplifier to access its internal DSP properties. In the left-hand vertical menu, select the Speaker Configuration tab. Since we're creating a new speaker preset, we first need to define how many ways this loudspeaker will have. We can make multiple selections either by holding control on our keyboard and selecting the output channels we want to use, or by clicking and dragging the mouse over our channel selection. For this example, let's create a two-way loudspeaker preset. So let's select channels 1 and 2 and then click Join. We then move to the left-hand side of our screen and click on Speaker Model. The Details window will appear and we can insert all the basic information which will identify the speaker's preset, such as brand, family, model, and finally the application or use of this speaker. In this example, we will name our brand Training, Family, Point Source, Model, Two Ways, and Application, Default. The Link To Out setting gives us the ability to define if we don't want this loudspeaker preset to be loaded with a specific channel of our amplifier. In this case, since we're creating a two-way speaker, we will tell Harmonia Plus 2.0 that this preset cannot be loaded onto channel 8 because otherwise the second line would be missing. Let's now rename Way 1 LF, Way 2 HF, and change our Way's layout to vertical. We will now add the PAS value and impedance of each driver of our loudspeaker preset. The PAS value can be found on most manufacturer spec sheets. Alternatively, the PAS level is roughly 6 dB of the peak value. Adding the PAS power and impedance values to our loudspeaker profile allows Health Plus to monitor our loudspeakers, making sure that they are performing at 100% of their capability. For this example, we will set the LF 800 watts at 8 ohm and the HF 200 watts at 8 ohm. Our speaker type is a point source but we do have other image profiles available. Here we can see a small sub, line array, medium sub, double sub, cardio stack, wedge, column, ceiling, and lastly, mover. The user can also load custom images if desired by clicking here. Once we're happy with everything, we can simply close the details window and click apply to load these preset settings to our channels. Now we can select our channels and we can save our preset to our library. Now we click on Ways located in the vertical menu bar and start applying IIR filters to our EQ curve. We can choose from multiple filter types by selecting the drop-down menu within any filter. Since channel 1 is a low frequency line, let's enable a high pass filter. We can see that we have multiple options for high-pass filters, and these are Bessel, Butterworth, Linkwitz Riley, and FIR. For this example, we will use a Butterworth filter and a slope of 24 dB per octave. We can see that we do have other options for slopes, ranging from a first-order filter up to an eighth order. We can define the frequency by typing it in or by dragging the curve with the control point. Let's set it at 30 Hz. Next, let's enable a low pass filter and set it as a link with Riley filter and move it to 100 Hz. We then select our second channel, and since this is a high frequency line, we will apply a link with Riley high pass filter and set it at a frequency of 100 Hz. If we want to add a FIR filter to our preset, we simply click on the custom FIR button. Enable this filter and then open the settings window, from where we can import our FIR filter file. The number of tabs that the amplifier can support for FIR filters is 2048 tabs at 48 kHz sampling rate. Limiters are extremely important for both amplifier and loudspeaker protection. 
Within the limiter stabs of the waist sections, we feature a set of three different limiters, RMS, peak, and clip. The power RMS limiter is intended to avoid the burning of loudspeaker voice coils, while at the same time capitalizing on the loudspeaker's maximum performance. The peak limiter avoids the dangerous displacement of the loudspeaker cone. We suggest using the declared peak power of the loudspeaker or twice the program power. The clip limiter is a brick wall limiter with no adjustable time constants and will engage strictly when the voltage reaches its defined threshold. It is used as final attempt at protecting loudspeakers. By accessing your MyPowerSoft account, you can download the power sharing tool to find the above threshold of your loudspeakers. Returning to the Speaker Configuration tab, select the output holding your speaker preset and click Save. By selecting the user preset path, the user can copy their preset within this file path and share it as well. It is important to note that the user should refresh the load library after saving their preset. When loading a preset from the Speaker Configuration tab, click on the magnet and drag a preset to the physical outputs. The preset will automatically populate the right number of outputs as well as join the necessary outputs if needed. Moving back into the workspace and accessing the speaker tab, we can now view our preset in our load library. This preset is only found in the machine it was created on and will not be found within the Harmonia Plus 2.0 library.